Week one in the British Columbia Football Conference is here. Seems crazy to say that. Uh, and I'm sure these two gentlemen joining me right now are pretty darn excited. Dominic Abassi for the BCFC in Nanaimo. Shane B out on the west shore of Vancouver Island. And Bob Reese at the, looks like, beautiful exhibition stadium in Chilliwack. And uh, Gentlemen, let's start with the, the main camps and the preparations for week one. Bob, uh, walk me through what you're seeing from your team, how they are, where the energy level is, how, how prepared this group is. Uh, I mean, certainly not a, a long training camp, you know, I can't hear you. We're excited to go, you know, into the last couple of weeks. Guys are prepared to hit the field. Uh, week one presents uh, a very uh, tough matchup for us. Even, uh, on the field and getting guys ready to go for the past couple of weeks. Shane, um, I mean, you got an excited group all around you right there right now. You can feel the energy uh, on the West Shore. I've seen a lot of stuff on social media, a lot of excitement about this group. What are you seeing from your club right now? We're athletic. Um, we still got a gel, but we've been going since December in the way room, 30 plus kids every three times a week, right? So that's brought us a lot closer than the past years. Um, to be honest with you, we're a lot closer to the family than we have been in the last few years. We're very athletic. Um, defensively, I'm I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Um, very stoked. Offensively, it's going to take a little more time to gel. Um, but, you know, with the likes of Mayo and Felito and, and Kobe at quarterback, that's nice. And then we just picked up, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but a Bay, a Coco at running back. A BA, a Coco at running back. So, really happy with that addition today. And then we just picked up Demarius Henderson, too, from Langley, number 33. So, really happy with those two additions. Bob, uh, your club's starting out back-to-back -back home games. Do you, do you put any sort of pressure onto that? I wouldn't say pressure, but do you focus on that, guys? Two home games out of the gate. We got to come out 2-0 and here. Uh, yeah. I mean, time, uh, you're playing, you want to protect the house. You know, I mean, um, you know, whether that's at the beginning of the season. But, uh, games get off to uh, to jump out of the gate, right? And that's what you're hoping to do, especially on your own turf. So, um, yeah, we, you know, we welcome you to play week one at home. Shane, uh, you're the opposite. You got four out of your first five games on the road. Does that impact the way you approach your schedule at all? No, to be honest with you, after Labor Day, now we're four out of five at home, right? So that's nice as well. Um, obviously, we're doing some renovations to the stadium. Our locker room's not done until just before the VI game. Um, the kids have handled diversity real, real well. We haven't brought many of the distractions as a coaching staff, so therefore, other than the kids, we just aren't here focusing on football. And it uh, doesn't matter where we play, right? Bob's the same way. We'll play you on the street. <laughs> Bob, uh, for your football team, playing against West Shore, I mean, this is a completely transformed team, and there's a lot of buzz about the players they picked up. Obviously, Colby Hanfield, Bryson Mayo, Jesse Zaharos, and then it goes on and on. How do you approach this game against the team that was – you know, in the bottom two last year, and they're not predicted to be there this year. Uh, they we understand that, uh, you know, Coach Beatty and his staff have done a recruiting. I uh, mean, brought in a lot of talent. You know, we're not we're not going to be caught by, you know, a, a roster there. You know, we, we certainly are aware of their talent level and, and have been, um, you know, for, for a very talented point coming in here. So, um, you know, we look, we look forward to it. I you know, again, congrats uh -huh. for, for having a standing It's good, ready. Guys on the field, um, on where it's in for the same thing. All right, gentlemen. Well, I appreciate oh, hold your on, time. Hold on, let, 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 me, let me respond to that. Okay, hey, Shane. Let's be, re let's be real about this league. Look at some of the kids Bob's brought in. It's phenomenal. Hey, Bob, great job. I mean, we, we got to be stoked about, you know, representing our programs, but you've done a heck of a job recruiting and um, – this is going to be a lot of fun. Win, lose, or draw, this league has stepped up. We've stepped up. You've stepped up even more. And um, much respect, big dog. Hey, right back at you, Coach. I think there's, uh, you know, this across the board this, this year, it's going to be a fantastic year and a great show. So, uh, you know, let's get it going. Yes, sir. Can't wait to start, you guys. Appreciate your time. Best of luck to both of you. Much Thank respect. You, Take care. Thanks, Dom.